Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hi, welcome back to the Monday Quilt Chat. It's hard to not say Monday morning, because that's how I started this, this uh, series. <laughs> But either way, no matter what time of day it is, welcome back. Uh, I have a special guest with me today. This is Blue, and you've seen him on some other videos and even an intro at one point. But uh, he's uh, been around. He's being his little happy self, and uh, he's been running around outside. That's why he's got his little mouth open. But uh, some of you all had commented that you hadn't seen him in a while and wonder where he was, if he was okay, and he's doing just fine. He did have a little bit of a spill recently, um, probably about a month ago. He came in and he was favoring one leg, so uh, tried to get him into the vet right away, and it took a couple of days, but we got him back in there, and they decided, well, maybe he had um, torn his ACL, or at least you know separated it some not torn all the way through so they had him stay off of it for a while which is hard to do uh, I had to take him out on the leash a lot for potty and all of that so uh, he's doing better now he was taking some anti-inflammatories and things like that but I don't know what happened. He was just out. We were outside. He was outside. We didn't notice anything wrong with him until we came back in. And he was acting like he was in kind of a lot of pain. So we had to take him to the doggy doctor, didn't we? Yes, we did. And you did so good. Anyway, he's, he's better. He's back to chasing squirrels. And there's those big buzzards that fly around outside and he somehow thinks he can catch those so he'll look up and see one of those and just start running and trying to catch up with it somehow so probably he was running after a critter or something that's how he hurt his hurt his leg but he's okay now so i thought i'd bring him on today so you all could see that he's still around here and he's still still being his sweet self well, the weekend went very unexpectedly. It uh, started out weird after I spoke with you on Friday. On Finish It Friday, our electricity went out. And I was just in the process of kind of waking up, getting up. It was already like 10 o'clock. And I was sitting there on the couch drinking my coffee and I heard this loud pop and everything went dark. So I called the electric company probably within the same minute that that happened so that you can, you know, get things moving along so you can get your electricity back on. And the girl said, okay, we'll send somebody out there. And then the next thing we know, uh, kind of a windstorm came up all of a sudden. And so it turns out there were some straight line winds that were running through here. And if you don't know what a straight line wind is, it's basically how it sounds. It's kind of like a tornado force wind, but it's just, it just runs straight through. And it will uproot trees and, and snap trees off uh, from the top. And um, we didn't have any real damage here from that. It was just a few limbs down, but nothing big. So after about two hours, I called again and I said, um, what's the ETA on somebody coming out here? Because we have a freezer and of course you don't want things to go bad in your refrigerator either. And so I called again and they said, well, the lady was in a little bit more of a panicky voice this time. And she says, well, since the straight line winds went through, uh, we've got lots of power lines down. We've got hundreds of people without power, and you've been put on the back burner. And I was like, oh, great. So, to make a long story short, we had to get our generator out and hook our freezer and refrigerator up to it. 
and it was about six hours before we got our power back so Friday was a bust and by the time all that stress was over with then I was just too spent to come out here and sew I just didn't have any energy left so I didn't sew anything on on Friday at all like I planned on I was going to cut the rest of the the strips of this you know the green that I was getting in to finish that for the outer border the inner border and uh, I didn't do that and then Saturday and Sunday were gorgeous days here I mean they were just perfect low humidity sunny breezy 80 degrees it was just awesome and of course our grass had to be cut so I did that while Mark worked on the landscaping we're still working on that we got the load of rock in that we needed to rock the the whole front of the house where the landscaping is and he was working on that while I was mowing and then we had a graduation party to go to so Saturday was a bust and then Sunday I didn't get out here in the morning and then we have our meetings on at one o'clock and so I didn't get back from there till um, four o'clock three thirty something like that and so I don't know Sundays are just conducive to a nice long nap after that so not much got done as a matter of fact I could probably say nothing got done in here this weekend which is disappointing I know it's disappointing to you too but let's talk about some things because I um, I did get the fabric in like I said for this to get ready to to cut that out and sew it on and I also wanted to talk I forgot to tell you Friday um, when I was putting these blocks together for totally tulips there was a mistake in the pattern and I'm not just trying to point out pattern mistakes all the time but it surprises me how many you know I had that one mistake in that little basket project not a big deal you work around it this one also I worked around it but you know these rows um, each block had either a strip of green at the top or at the bottom and the pattern said to um, take there's 28 take 14 of those and put the strip at the top and 14 and put them at the bottom that's what it said but think about that and I should have thought about this it's asking you to arrange them in four rows of seven so that's not going to be right you need 16 that has or four four columns that have it at the top and three columns that have it at the bottom so it's going to be 16 at the top and 12 at the bottom so I just went through and just rapidly you know had put those on 14 and 14 so as I was sewing along the columns I was like this isn't working out right mathematically but it only resulted in me having to take off two of the I think I had yeah I had to take off two of the bottom strips of two blocks and put it on the top of two blocks so but that's what it said here's what it says right here in the pattern I brought it up here for you step number four if you have totally tulips pattern from Missouri Star Quilting Company it says um, step number four join units sew a blossom unit to a leaf unit you do have to do that to all 28 then the next part of step four sew a two and a half by nine and a half background rectangle to the bottom of 14 blocks sew a two and a half by nine and a half rectangle to the top of the remaining blocks which would be the other 14 but that does not that does not compute <laughs> so anyway it was just a matter of like I said taking the, the two strips off the bottom and putting it on 
two of the top ones. Anyway, got it done. But I don't know. It, I don't know if I should let them know that that's written like that or is it one of those things that once they've got these patterns done they can't edit them I don't know you all can let me know if you, th you think I should let them know about it it's not a catastrophic error you can recover from it easily whoops you gonna iron you feel like iron this iron is just your size um Thank you for your advice on the outer border for this. Uh, I'm definitely not going to use that green because uh, many of you thought it was too yellow as well. Now, have I decided what I'm going to do? No. Some have suggested uh, getting one of these. Uh, not necessarily in pink. You can get this in other colors too. There's a blue one, I think. And then there's also a stem one that's more blue that would coordinate really well. And a lot of people thought that the uh, purple one that I showed you from Missouri Star was too busy. So I haven't decided yet if that's the case, uh, if I'm going to go with that or if I'm going to do something else. But I'll be, I'll be deciding real soon probably this week the uh, barn quilt mini I have all of the pieces cut out for that uh, I have to get that done this week because it's the 20th today so uh, I've only got a week to get it done and what else the um, Save the Bees panel. I'm going to get that out for sure this week as well. Not done, but I'm going to get the, the pieces out for that and see what I have left. And um, I, I probably will make a separate video when I'm making that. And hopefully that's this week. Um, I've been, I didn't have a midweek video last week, so I might have one this week and it would probably be on that. So I'm really wanting to, to get that out and get it done. So besides having a dysfunctional weekend, I am here and I'm ready to get the week started and get things going. And by Friday, I should have something mostly done. <laughs> if nothing else, the barn quilt mini. So uh, and I also want to... Um, well, I must get the, the windmill garden for next week, the new color for next week. And I hope you guys are doing okay with your greens for this week for you guys. Um, please send um, attach yours to the, to the Instagram. And all you have to do if you have Instagram is uh, put a hashtag W-A-S-A-L. On your post and we'll all be able to see your block on that and and I've been following a lot of you guys too and and been able to see a lot more projects so if you have Instagram or you're in, curious about getting an Instagram account then you know mine is lessons learnt quilts and you can come and follow me and then you can see a lot of the other subscribers other projects as well not just the sew along so anyway I gotta get busy so I'm gonna leave you guys here and glad you got to see blue hey blue are you gonna say bye bye you gonna say bye bye say bye bye he's like hey we going bye bye we going bye bye mama huh? he's such a cutie he's a sweet little fella he's my shadow <laughs> All right. Have a great week. So a little bit every day if you can. I know I'm not been a very good example this past weekend on that, but I'll be sewing every day this week. All right. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.